everybody welcome to my channel my name is Robin and this is my channel Lady Robins if you are a new friend and subscriber welcome to my channel I am thrilled that you're here if you're a returning friend and subscriber welcome back I'm just as happy that you're here as well in case you're interested I am also Lady Robins on Instagram so you can follow me in two places if you'd like and in case you don't know, this is a channel about cross stitch where we'll talk about all things cross stitch goodness. So sit back, grab a beverage, and let's talk about stitching, shall we? I have my beverage today. I have got brewed coffee. It is in my Starbucks You Are Here mug, and this one, whoops, lipstick already. <laughs> this one is Memphis, and I I just love these mugs. We talk about it every every time. Um, anyway, Memphis is where we're at today, which seems very appropriate with with the uh, barbecue and the smoke rising. That's us here in the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> we are under some sort of heat dome, and we have been having record temperatures here. You might have even seen it on the national news. Um, we set an all-time high yesterday here in Seattle of 108. We've never been that hot. Um, the day before, and I think we were 100. Today, we're having a cool down. It's only going to be 90, <laughs> which is nuts. Absolutely, completely nuts. We don't have air conditioning in our house, so if you hear a buzz in the background, that's like a gabillion fans. <laughs> the other thing is, this is, uh, my craft room faces east, so I am getting the morning sun. It is really hot in here, so this will probably be a pretty quick one. I need to scurry out of here and plunk myself in front of a fan. Um, I apologize that the lighting is crap. <laughs> <laughs> but as you can see the 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 sun is coming through through my uh, blinds I didn't turn on the ceiling lights um, I still don't have a replacement ring light for the ring light that I dunked in coffee a couple of weeks ago so pardon my terrible lighting I I appreciate your grace on that topic I think I I talk about the lighting probably every every time but I but I'm I'm, I'm narrowing down my choices. I'm doing a little research, so I spend my money wisely on a replacement one. <clears throat> okay, so let's have a let's have a beverage. Okay, so today I believe is my floss tube number. It's either 81 or 82, and it is the 29th of June. Yep, 29th of June. We are coming up on 4th of July weekend here in the States. It is a big festival, a big holiday for us. Um, they are asking people in my area, at least, please don't light up fireworks because it is so hot, it is so dry. Things could go sideways <clears throat> quickly. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We are gonna skip the fireworks and we're gonna let others we're gonna let those big professional um, shows in our area be how we celebrate with of course some food I don't know what we're gonna do we can't decide if we're gonna go to the cabin for the weekend or stay here in town no matter where we are the fireworks are terrible for dog for the dog Angie she hates fireworks she hates the sound she uh, she shivers and shakes and you know just about strokes out every year so um, my my town uh, Kent we're supposed to be a no no fireworks city that's not what happens <laughs> but I think it's louder at the cabin so I think we might stay in town this year plus it's supposed to still be in the upper 80s by the weekend and there's also no AC out at the cabin. In fact, the cabin gets a little hotter. And so we might stay in town with our Gabillion fans. <laughs> okay, so what did I stitch on this week, you guys? How about we talk about that? I have two finishes to show you. Two finishes. Let's start with those. I have finished the stitching on Stars and Stripes, which is this cute little pattern. This is a freebie from Helen D. So uh, she's Helen D on 
floss tube and she's east coast dot crafter on instagram this is a freebie that she created and i don't I don't think you can see it at all, but the fireworks here on the side, I stitched with a Twall DMC floss, and it is the very first time I have stitched with it, and it stitched up great. It is so, it is so fun. It's got a little sparkle in it, and I just love it. I just love it. <clears throat> yeah, so that was one of four pillows I declared I was going to make this week. I didn't make them as you can see. The problem is, like I said, this is an east facing window. It is hotter than blazes in here. I can't stay in here very long because of the heat. Um, we got up to 108 yesterday, which is nuts. It set an all time record here in the Seattle area. Yeah, 108 is not okay. Because of that, I, I did not come in here I mean, I snuck in, grab a, grabbed a floss if I needed, and they, you know, I f scurried back out. So there was no FFOing. That will just have to be a decor piece for next year, <laughs> or we're just gonna we're just gonna love it a few a few days late when I can when I can do some FFOing. But FFOing is not happening now. It is too hot. Okay. What else did I stitch on you guys? This is going to be a quick one. I am I am rocketing through stuff in record time because a I have to. <laughs> but I have a finish. I have another finish and this one I'm so excited about. This is the Cricut Collection Playing with Jacks. Now, this is my second oldest whip and it is finely finished and I am so excited to um, A to have it finished and B to share it with you guys and so here it is this is playing with jacks and I'm gonna talk you through I made some personalizations I decided on this piece I had seen this on Instagram and somebody else had the brilliant idea to put acorns all across the bottom as opposed to on the chart I'm just gonna I'm just gonna risk the crinkle here on the chart it's charted with like three maple leaves and two acorns now those leaves did nothing for me I I don't know they didn't look like anything in fact when I showed my husband the pattern I'm like look I changed things and can you see what I changed and I made him do all all of that stuff he was like well yeah I see you got rid of the shelf supports and I'm like uh they're maple leaves and he goes well I think you made a good choice because I thought they were shelf supports <laughs> So he th he thinks the uh, five acorns across the bottom, let me show them to you again, uh, are a much better choice than the, than the three maple leaves. So um, I changed that. I did not do any of the long stitches that are charted on that black and gray pumpkin. I I didn't feel that the pumpkin needed that at all and then you can see in here there's a there's a little you know there's a little border that goes around and again I just couldn't see how that added anything to to the um, to the finished piece so I didn't do that I did decide that um, it needed a, a little a little more back stitching in a couple of places so I back stitched and it's, this is not on the on the chart I back stitched around this black black white and gray pumpkin I just thought it made it pop now it be the reason I did that is the two well these two the middle jack-o-lantern and then the kind of the patchwork pumpkin those are both back stitched around but the black one wasn't and it looked in my eye it looked funny it was, it was like either all three of the forward pumpkins needed to be back stitched or none of them did and so for for that reason I added the back stitching to that um, I also 
um, on, I think of this as being a little shelf that the pumpkins are sitting on or a table and maybe this is like a, a tablecloth hanging down. I don't know what I think it is, but I think it maybe it's a shelf. And I don't, you probably can't even see it at all, but I backstitched across the top of that um, shelf because between the little shelf bits and the acorns is just empty space and it didn't connect in my head it, it it seemed it seemed odd and so even though you can barely see it when you look at the piece for me that just did something and then I did another edit there were supposed to be some back stitches in this taller orange pumpkin along the edge and I stared and stared and stared at the um, at the chart. I couldn't even really see them on the chart. And so because of that, I'm like, I probably won't see them in person. So I left those off too. So those were my personalizations. Now, I want to tell you the idea for the five acorns across the bottom. It wasn't mine. I saw that on Instagram. And so... And I saw it a, a long, long time ago. So I actually went through Instagram and I searched the hashtag um, playing with jacks because that's the name of the chart. And I was able to find it. And the person um, had a link to their blog where they listed the colors that they chose for the acorns. And they're just colors out of the main um, the main chart itself anyway. So in the end, I even switched those out. I I did a couple that um, that person had suggested, and then I like the one in the middle. That's my that's my idea. <laughs> I I needed something that popped a little bit more. She had used um, well, she or he could have been a he. I don't know for sure. Um, used something that was a little more muted, and I was like, nope, I need to punch up the color right there. So we did. Anyway, that is playing with jacks, and that is my second oldest whip. I started this in October of 2019. It's a finish. It's finally a finish. And yeah, we're gonna frame that one. That one is not gonna become a pillow or anything like that. That's definitely gonna get framed. And like, like I think I mentioned last time, my husband wants to uh, make the frame himself. So we'll see how that goes. But again, it's too hot for any woodworking out in the garage. So that's not happening until we hit a cool down. So that was my second finish for the week. And I couldn't be happier. All right, so the other thing that I stitched on this week, and where did I put it? I stitched on, I've got the chart here. Oh, the fabric flips to the ground. We'll have to pick that up. I, um, I stitched on Mary Notes by the Shepherd's Bush. Give me just a second to grab it. <clears throat> and so I put in one day of stitching on Mary Notes. So there we are. So I'm just working on all of these leaves up here at the top. And th these, are fun, these are a fun stitch. My friend Lynn loves stitching the notes. And she just picked up a new one. I think she, it was, uh, I haven't looked it up yet. She said it's called Busy Notes. And she said it has, um, it's kind of bee themed. And she said it's really cute. I gotta go take a peek because that sounds like a like a one I'll need to stitch in the future. So this is also one of my called Whipgo pieces for the month of June. All right, you guys, this will be the first month I have failed at Whipgo, but I'm gonna make it up in July. That's my plan because I'm supposed to have done five days of stitching on Mary Notes I've only got three in and five days of stitching on cardinal points and I only have one day in on that. So I have been goofing around and not doing my whip go. So I need, I need to make some progress on those. But speaking of whip go, the whip go July numbers have been called and I am 
excited. So it was numbers 2 and 12, not that you care, but 2 and 12. It turns out number 12, I decided that I didn't want to do what's on number 12. So I decided it's my whip go. I can make it whatever I wanted. So I have decided instead of what was originally on number 12, I have added, do you recognize this? Yeah, it is the Quaker turtle. So my whip go goals are gonna be stitching on the Quaker turtle and I always put down um, five days of stitching. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put in five days of stitching to finish off my whip go July goal on this one. And then the other one, I did not change this one out. This is from the Stitching Book Club. This is an oldie that's hanging around, but it is the Frankenstein Sal. So here is where I'm starting on Frankenstein. So I have got two monochromatic pieces that I'm going to be stitching for Whipco this July. I think that's going to be fun. Not lots of color changes, obviously. I think I think that's going to be a good good challenge this um this month is what happens if you don't have to change colors? How much more stitching do you get done? I am curious to see how these pieces are going to stitch up. So that is my whip go. So I got to do my homework from June, got to do my July stitching. And then if I have time after that, which I might, I should have a little bit of time. Um, then the other things I want to hit, I want to get back to uh, Summer Snapper Land. Mm -hmm. Got to get, gotta get the Summer Snapper Land. Um, Harbor Haven and gnomes in the garden. Those are the other three pieces that I really want to get to. So that's kind of my plans for July. Once July is done, I think I'm gonna start gonna, I think I will start a Lottie Daw piece for Halloween. The, um, what is it called? Something Wicked. We, I've showed you that a number of times. I wanna start that in August because the companion piece I've already stitched. So I'd like to get those two stitched for October. So kind of long range goals there. I don't have, I don't have um, much to show you in terms of haul. My um, fabric of the month from Brandy at Be Stitch Me showed up. Let's see if I can get this out. This one is called Grog. It's a really cool piece. Let me just oh, wrinkle, wrinkles, crinkles again. Sorry. Um, I have switched to 36 count. So this is this is my piece of grog that is gonna sh that doesn't it is it reminds me of vintage country mocha, but in reverse. You know how vintage country mocha has the um, has a, a light background and then the, the darker modeling. This is the reverse. This has a, a darker, and when I say dark, it's not that dark, but it has a darker base color and then light modeling. So for me, Grog is really a great, great um, piece. I'm looking forward to doing something on that. So and that was my, that was my haul. Pretty quick, pretty quick little haul, right? Um, I don't, I don't think I have, nope, I don't have any, um, other purchases beyond my fabric of the month. I've been good this week. I do have a, a book, a little book talk here for you. I finally started a woman of no importance. As you can see, I have really just barely started. I'm on like chapter two. Already this thing is grabbing my attention. If you need a good nonfiction kind of spy thriller, A Woman of No Importance could be your next read. I am totally digging this. Um, I finally finished Cruel World, the first in the um, Needlework Mystery Shop series by Monica Ferris. I enjoyed it. Once I got done listening to the audio and I just sat down and read the paper copy, 
I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I will tell you, I found that there were a few kind of outdated, kind of sexist, you know, comments here and there. It was written in 1990. Um, I'm actually surprised that those um, those type of comments were, were still um, being written down. But there you have it. But overall, I enjoy I enjoyed it. It was it was a cute read. Uh, I did figure out who had done it probably about two thirds of the way through the book. But you know, that's okay. I I just I like the idea that there is um, a stitching related pattern at the end of every book. And Aaron or uh, yeah, Erin, yes, Erin, sorry, of Perpetual Project, she has been a big, big sleuth. She has found a cross stitch um, pattern of the needlework pattern that's at the back of Cruel World and she has forwarded it to me and I've just got to find a little scrap of fabric and, and stitch that up because I think that would be a complete hoot. She said not all of the patterns are cross stitched. Um, she found a website that has all of the, the patterns and there's actually some knitting patterns. Um, obviously there's some needle points. So it's, it's a total blast. I just think it's a cute concept and I'm here for all of them. So uh, beyond a woman of no substance, I am going to um, find the second in the Needle Shop Mystery series and start that up. And then of course the other thing, I haven't even started reading Little Women for the uh, Little Women um, Stitching Book Club Sal. That's another thing that I need to put on my plans. I have not finished part one. So I need to start reading uh, Little Women as well. So there you go, that's my, that's my reading plan. You guys, that's it. That's it. I have got sweat dripping down my back and down my <laughs> down my front. It is too hot in here. I'm getting out of here. I wish you a fantastic week of stitching. I hope things are going well in your world. I hope it is not 90 where you are. And if it is, I hope you have air conditioning. <laughs> All right, you guys have a great week. I will see you in a week and we'll see if maybe there's some FF owing. There sure wasn't any this week. All right, I am thrilled that you're here, Stitching Friends. You are my tribe. I am thrilled when we get together. Let me know down in the comments what you think of my plans. Tell me what your plans are. Tell me what you're reading. I'd love to know. Are you a fellow reader? Let me know. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm gonna go find some water and have a great week. Okay, bye friends. <laughs>